Number 10. A medical laboratory catalog describes the pressure in a cylinder of a gas as 14.82 megapascals. What is the pressure of this gas in atmospheres and in tor? Okie dokie. So it looks like they gave me one pressure value, and we just have to convert the, this pressure into just different units, one in atmospheres and the other one in tor. Just remember, guys, that atmosphere, shorthand for atmosphere is ATM. So we're going to be basically finding out what mega pascal, PA is pascal, uh, into atmosphere and into tor. Okay, so let's do the 14.82 megapascals, and let's just see if we can convert this into ATM first. Now, at the bottom, I gave a list of all of the four big pressure units, and what you should do is, A, just be able to identify these units. So anytime that you see an ATM, a TOR, a millimeters of mercury, MM is millimeters, HG is mercury on the periodic table, or a Pascal value, those are all TOR values. It's basically, these are just pressure values, but just in different uh, numbers and units because some things are much higher in pressure, some things are much lower in pressure. So it's just easier to identify what the pressure value is depending on what the unit is. It's basically the same thing with masses, right? There's so many different units for mass. We have grams, we have milligrams, we got ounces, we got pounds. It all comes back to mass, but we can just represent it as, you know, different things. Now, the thing here that I see is that I have a mega, remember, capital M, on your uh, SI units stands for mega, and then we have Pascals. But if I want to use these conversions, I only know something for Pascal. But the mega conversion is the same as if, and maybe I'll put this down here, like if we did mega gram into grams, if we did mega seconds into seconds, if we did mega liters into liters. So I can just get rid of this and I can say mega pascal to just pascal. It's the same numbers, right? Mega is times 10 to the sixth. So if you want to go to pascals from a mega pascal, you need much more pascals to fit into one mega pascal. So you would times by 10 to the sixth. So mega is always to the sixth. So all I would have to do here is I would just have to take this number first and times it by 10 to the 6, a.k.a. a million, and then we'll get the Pascal value, and then we can work from there. 14.92 times 10 to the 6th. So I get, I could start off with saying I got 1.492 times 10 to the, this is probably the 7th, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, yep. And now I'm in just Pascals. Now I can convert to ATM. So conversions, we know how to do those times by the ratio, right? You put the unit that you don't want on the bottom, right? So Pascals is going to go on the bottom and we want to go to ATM. So ATM on the top. And then since all of these are equal to each other, you only have to pick the two that you need. I need ATM, ATM, and I need Pascal, Pascal. So for every one ATM, there was a one ATM, this represents 101,325 Pascals. So 101,325. Pascals cancel out, and now we're left with the unit of ATM. So let's see, this number divided by 101,325. And I started with four sig figs, so technically I should end with four sig figs, but who cares, right? But I'll just put it down. <laughs> just in case, 147.2 ATM. Okay, so that would be the same amount of pressure just said in a different value. So 14.82 megapascals is the same thing as 147.2 ATM. That's a lot of pressure. Now let's just convert it to TOR. So I'll just take it from this one again, right? And maybe I'll do it, maybe I'll put like a little dash here. And then I'll say 
1.492 times 10 to the 7th Pascal times by the ratio. We don't want Pascal anymore, so we put it on the bottom. And now we want Tor. So Tor goes up on the top. Go back to our conversion factors and take the two that you care about. Now I only care about Tor and Pascal. So 760 Tor equals 101,325 Pascals. So 760 goes with the Tor value. And then the 101,325 Pascals go on the bottom. Pascal cancels out. And now you're left with the answer. So 1.492 times 10 to the 7th times 760. And then just divide that number by 101,325. Three sig figs, so I'm going to round it out. I'm going to say 1.12 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There you go. And now, oop, we're not in Pascal's, we're in Tor. And this kind of gives you an idea as to why we have so many different uh, pressure units, right? You could say that you have 14 roughly 14 megapascals, you could say that you have 147 ATM, or you could say that you have a lot of Tor. For this idea, you probably wouldn't express it in Tor because it's just so many, right? So roughly, the, the lower the number, the easier to understand what's going on. That's why we have all these different pressure units. But anyway, these are the two answers. So hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. And tell your classmates, tell your friends that this channel exists. That would really mean the world to both my brother and myself. And I thank you so much for that. We appreciate you guys. You guys have been so kind throughout this whole journey. So keep working hard and I will see you all later. Bye-bye.